Welcome to beautiful Brackenridge Park Golf Course in San Antonio, Texas. With blue bonnets blossoming and the smell of blunt smoke subsiding, we welcome you to the first annual Pub Cup. This inaugural edition pits Team USA, featuring Ick Schnizzle and Jose Sweet Tea Tits Bouquet versus Team Canada, consisting of Mr. Gokster and Spenny Penny Bobs. Our match begins on the back nine with Mr. Gokster forced to begin the round solo. After a night of heavy boozing highlighted by a surprise break and enter, his partner Spenny is nowhere to be found. Immediately the Canadians go one down, but as they move to the 11th hole, Spenny has rolled out of his ditch and brought his stink to the tournament. As Spenny enters the fray, the Canadians find themselves down one. But the Canadians have a rich history of alcoholism-filled success, and thanks to a Mr. Gokster birdie, they tie the match up. The Canadian momentum continues as we move to the par 3 15th. Gokster opens up with a beautiful shot that reaches the dance floor and sets the Canucks up nicely. Ready to fight fire with fire in steps young Jose Bouquet. Dressed like a toddler and brimming with confidence, he steps up to the tee. And fires a banana ball that just misses a group of special needs children enjoying a picnic. Thankfully, a schnizzle steps up and fires a beauty to keep the Americans in contention, but it's not enough as the Canadians are up three, heading to 18. Spenny gets the par three started with a beauty that reaches the carpet. With the Americans in desperate need of a strong shot to change momentum in their favor, up steps Sweet Tea Tits Bouquet looking for redemption. And duffs the ball about 50 yards to the right. After nine holes, the Canadians find themselves comfortably up four. And the Americans battle back. We begin play on the second, and yet another strong tee shot from Spenny Penny Bombs to put the Canadians in business. He adds the exclamation by pointing at the wife of a player playing behind them. Ick Schnizzle is doing his best to keep the Americans close. But the Canadians are clearly in the driver's seat with just a few holes left. Jose Bouquet steps up to the fourth hole and delivers his best drive of the day as we feel the momentum beginning to shift with six holes left. All of a sudden, the Americans have cut the deficit to two with two holes left. As Ick Schnizzle's confidence builds, can the Canadians handle the pressure? Spenny drives the ball into the deep cabbage. A difficult shot ahead of him trying desperately to stop the American momentum. And he strikes the flag with an absolute beauty, then steps up to tie the hole and clinch the match. But he buckles. But anytime the Canadians need a big putt, Raw Dog Gokster is there, wearing black socks to match his genitalia. Gokster steps up and calmly delivers the game winning putt. Boys! And Team Canada. Yeah is victorious. Not since the War of 1812, when Canada burnt down the White House, have the Canadians fought so valiantly to victory on American soil.